In question 8, the problem statement says an angle is greater than 45 degrees. Is its complementary angle greater than 45 degrees or equal to 45 degrees or less than 45 degrees? So let's first understand this through a few examples. Let's say that the original angle which is greater than 45 degrees, let's represent it using x degrees and then its complementary angle uh, let's represent it using y degrees. Now what is the meaning of this word complementary? Two angles are complementary when their sum is equal to 90 degrees. So the sum of x and y should be equal to 90 degrees. So let's say that the original angle which is greater than 45 degrees, let's say that it is 47 degrees. In this case the complementary angle will be 90 degrees minus 47 degrees which is equal to 43 degrees. Now let's say the original angle is 51 degrees, in this case the complementary angle will be 39 degrees and let's say the original angle is let's say 60 degrees, then the complementary angle will be 30 degrees. So in each of these cases, because the original angle is greater than 45, we can see that the complementary angle is less than 45. But why should this be the case? Well, it's very simple to understand. If, if the original angle is greater than 45 degrees and if the sum of x degrees and y degrees is equal to 90 degrees, then the uh, second angle y degrees must be less than 45 degrees. And why? Well, because if y is greater than 45, in this case x plus y will become greater than 90 because if x is also greater than 45 and y is also greater than 45 then their sum will become greater than 90. Similarly even if y is equal to 45 degrees even then the sum of x and y x degrees and y degrees this will become greater than 90 degrees because x is greater than 45 and y is equal to 45 so the sum will still be greater than 90 degrees. So it's only in the case when y is less than 45 degrees it's only in this case that x plus y equal to 90 is possible. Okay, so basically the argument is very simple that if x is greater than 45 then y must be less than 45 for the sum to, to be equal to 90 degrees. So the answer for this question is uh, the complementary angle must be less than 45 degrees and this completes question number 8. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.